Shotgun is so strong. There's a new king when it comes to the fastest time to kill in the game. <laughs> Insta killed him. And with two shots to kill to the head at the 55 meters, the Karak 300 is the most dominant DMR in Warzone 2 and is perfect for resurgence. Just sit there and take it, dude. I'm here for it. Now with this, you want to be running the best SMG in the game, the ISO 45. While the Lockman sub is the most forgiving inside 8 meters, nothing competes to the ISO 45 overall, and especially with headshots. <laughs> the loadout is after the gameplay, but if you want to be the first to get the best loadouts in Warzone 2, then make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Now let's devour the competition. This gun's so good. No, 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 Oh my god! Oh god, that guy's still there. Come on, peek, peek, peek! No! I only have eight bullets. Where are my perks? Oh my god, this game sucks so bad. That man's gonna come deep on me, almost. I have no place! No! Oh my god, don't know how he won that. Okay. Played a little passive there. Just sit there and take it, dude. I'm here for it. Oh my god, he actually had a good aim there. Come on, climb. Oh my god, it's not that hard to climb. Oh, this is so stupid. Can't climb this either. I want to kill this guy in the edge. Well, that was that guy. What was that? Nobody on. Oh. Enemy 
I mean, I, I, I respect it, but I don't know what you're doing. <sighs> guy's just sitting there the whole time. Oh, he's gonna be pissed. There you are. Sniper ammo? Sniper ammo? Anybody? I think he dropped down that other guy. The guy behind you. I ran out of ammo. God, there's a guy behind me. Where'd you go? <laughs> Insta killed him. Shot there. Mm -hmm. 
gun is so strong. Another guy deep. Getting pushed out by gas. Come on. Oh, you went water side, didn't you? You have good perks, especially for sniper ammo. No, the timing! Give me SMG, give me SMG. Oh, I just killed someone. This is a good spot. I don't think anyone's on the roof. Oh, we got good positioning here. What the f are you doing, dude? Let's get a circle of big boy rotation here. 1v1. I just get RPG. Now let's get into the loadout for the Karak 300. Now, of course, this gun requires a lot of skill. You have to hit headshots, and the build you saw in the video is the resurgence build I have for this DMR. It's the 15-round mag, the 300 high-velocity rounds tuned to recoil smoothness and recoil steadiness. The muzzle, the TACG76 muzzle tuned to recoil stabilization and aiming idle stability. Then for the ADS speed here, we have the BLK Laser 7MW tuned to sprint to fire speed and aiming idle stability. And then finally, the BLK 4.0 Optic tuned to flinch resistance and far. Now this is built for resurgence. If you want to use this in Battle Royale while making it zero recoil, easy to use, take off the laser, take off the high velocity rounds because you get a ton of velocity from the heavy tack barrel and tune that to recoil steadiness and aim down sight speed. And then on top of that, we're going to put on the Karak Palm. Now this uh, specific rear grip is great for flinch control. Being a sniper rifle has crazy flinch. You can tune this to, actually you don't need recoil steady for this. You need to aim down sight speed and aiming idle stability. This attachment is for stability and for the flinch like I said. And then also I changed the sight to the Lucas Benderoscope. It is absolutely perfect with this gun. Uh, to not also the flinch resistance and close and that makes it so you have a laser beam in battle royale while also sacrificing ads speed this is going to uh, act more like a sniper more like the signal 50. you can also turn the toggle zoom to the long so that way you can tap fire it at very long ranges it has very good bullet velocity and very good recoil control easy to use and if you haven't already make sure you devour the like button it's the best way to help the channel grow thank you for the support share this with your squad and devour the competition